Namaste or Assalam Alaikum Dosto and here on Burns Road here in Karachi in Pakistan this place is really really busy this is the old town of Karachi and it's, it's kind of like old Delhi like Chandini Chok that's what it really reminds me of the thing is I've never seen so many restaurants in one little area and somehow an egg just fell on my head how did that egg just fall on my head? That's so weird. An egg literally fell and smashed on the front of my head. That was, anyway. Someone's throwing it out the window of their house. I've never seen so many restaurants here in one place. Like, there must be, must be a hundred or more restaurants all selling stuff. So we're gonna go and try some Karachi food today. And I've already seen the first place I wanna start at. They are selling a Karachi flavor of Haleem. And you guys all know that Haleem is my absolute favorite food alongside like aloo parata so chalo let's go and find us some halim and then we'll, we'll eat through the rest of this place and if you're wondering that egg was empty really really strange all right we're here at karachi halim and because it's covid time you'll see the seating is all outdoors so let's take a seat and let's try beef halim i'm told it's really really good and really really different to hyderabadi halim all right, the first thing I'm eating is Haleem. And you've seen me eat Haleem enough because I love it so much. This is a meat dish with dal, and this is with beef. And they stir it in a pot for like six to 12 hours or longer. And it just comes out like this beautiful thick soup. And then you have condiments here as well always. So we can, we can chuck like ginger on top, chilies on top, a bunch of lemon is always good on top of this. I love putting lemon on it. Then you have these, these onions. These are kind of fried onions and lots of those on as well. There's some masala they give you as well if you want to really spice it up. But no, let's just do it this way. And then you've got, you've always got naan. Naan or rogani naan. Women are worried about it. Look, look behind you. These are just chai. Eh? These, these are shy, shy women. Oh. They are hesitating to come in, uh, across the cameras. So that's why they are moving from that particular area. No, they're looking because they're looking because a foreigner is here and because a foreigner is making a video. Oh, no. That's all. Yes, yes, yes. No, actually, I'm just telling you. I'm just informing you. They are looking because I'm a foreigner eating halim on the street here. They're not. Yes, yes, that's good. From your point of view, you are absolutely right. But in these uh, conditions. Brother, they're not in the video. Oh my God. That guy at Karachi Halim. So Halim was 135 rupees. But that guy that I met with, I mean, the guy just telling me what to do was so freaking annoying. And you know what? He got proved so wrong. <laughs> so just as I was finishing, this woman came up to me and she goes, oh, she just started to talk to me, like asking me what I'm doing, where I'm from, how I'm, how I'm enjoying Karachi. So. He just got fully shut down when women started approaching me just after he tried to tell me that these girls were, you know, worried about me filming when they weren't. They weren't in the shot and they were just standing and watching because I'm a foreigner and because I'm making a video, right? Like everyone stops to look for that. It's not because they're shy. And I totally get that point though, that someone will be shy and they won't want to be on film. That's why I'm not going around and filming them you know filming myself eating some food he apologized at the end he's like yeah sorry bro uh, I'm talking more from a village perspective he said um, it's okay let it be man like I know what to do and what not to do don't worry about that buddy so yeah he apologized so whatever let it be let's keep eating all right so I stopped filming this is where the egg hit me before I'm looking for the egg thrower so I'm um, yeah the guy interrupted me the Haleem was awesome it's different to Hyderabad. It's it's less rich, it's less creamy, and a different flavor. And it's kind of this like more orange flavor. It's good. Both are good. Hyderabad is definitely the best. But we're gonna try Karachi biryani. I hear that's really good. But right now, I'm looking for something called rubbery, which is a sweet snack here. I need something sweet after eating all that halim. Let's have a look for rubbery. So right now, I'm at Delhi Rubbery House. आपका परिवार दिल्ली से है या क्या सारा दिल्ली से ही है अच्छा आप दिल्ली से आए हैं सो दिस गाइस केम तो यही की पैदाइश है 
बड़े दिल्ली से आए अच्छा हम पाकिस्तानी पैदाइश ऑसम सो लेट्स ट्राई सम रबरी फ्रॉम डेली रबरी हाउस बैक आउट साइड ईडिंग एंड लुक एट दिस दे लिटू कैट बिलो मी एंड दिस इज रबरी एंड इज लिटरली मिल्क एंड शुगर लेट्स सी वट इट टेस्ट लाइक है Oh wow. What the hell is this? It's so different. Like just have a look. Wow. I had a fly on it. You'll always get a serving of flies here this time of year. It's amazing. They process the milk in a way that it becomes kind of a little bit stringy and sticky and gooey. Gooey is the right word. It's this gooey sweet milk kind of You can't call it mousse. All right, I got it. I got it. It tastes like gooey burnt milk. That's how I can describe it. Gooey burnt milk and like a milk barfi. Do you know what that is? And it's, it's delicious. It's really really yum. You want to be on the video? Yeah. <laughs> how do you know me? Uh What video did you see? I saw a lot of videos of yours. I I, like, I don't I think you saw the video of me crossing the border at Wagga border from India to Pakistan. Did you are Peter? Peter Peter McKinnon. Yeah, Peter McKinnon. Is your name? Yes, Peter McKinnon. Yeah, yeah. I I saw your videos. Ha, uh, yeah, that's me Peter McKinnon. Nice to meet you. Aapse milka acha laga. Aapse milka acha laga. Bye. 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 This this other guy actually asked if I was from China. Of all places, someone asked me if I'm from China here. Now I'm Peter McKinnon. All right, these guys. He's stirring massive pots of nehari. You know, nehari hai. All right, we had Halim. We had rubbery. Now I want a tea. I need a tea to keep going. And looks like I found a Quetta Thai house here. And these guys make amazing tea. Assalamu alaikum ji. आप कैसे हैं जी सब ठीक है भाई आप कहाँ से हैं बलूचिस्तान से बलूचिस्तान से अच्छा कोयटा से वोटा से बलूचिस्तान से अच्छा अच्छा आने आ रहा है ओसम सो या वी फाउंड We found someone from Baluchistan to make us some chai. That's what I want. They've just got a different way of making it. Like look at all these little teapots up here. See all these little teapots hanging? That's for you know delivery. They'll deliver the tea all around. This place. Wow. Chalo. G. Ah, one chai DJ. Okay. Shukriya, G. Thank you. All right, I'm here at the Quetta Chai Wala. A few people sitting inside here with me. This store isn't taking the. I mean, you're allowed to eat inside, so it's good. And ah, tea. Now, tea here tastes different. I don't know what it is, but. I don't think you get Indian tea bags here or Indian tea here in Pakistan. I'm sure there'll be some trade limits on it. So they have their own tea, and it's the flavor is different. That's the very first thing I noticed when I entered Pakistan that the tea tasted different. And I was like, "Hey, like it's enough to make you go, what? What happened to this tea? It's different. It's just a stronger taste. That's all I can put it down to." It's impossible to describe the flavor of tea, right? I can just tell you it's stronger and it's different, and that you will like it after a couple of cups, and you, you get used to it. Now I love it. Now I'm taking it back to to India, so my mother-in-law can also try Pakistani tea and see what it tastes like as well. The guy was a sweet chai wala and really, really nice tea as well. Now I found another restaurant with <laughs> the name Delhi in it, Delhi Gola Kebab. So I think we should go and try it, nah? No? All right, we're at New Delhi Gola Kebab to try the kebabs. But then you can see across the road there is Karachi Delhi Gola Kebab as well. Competition just just took the name and added Karachi to it. Bigger jello, let's go try something. We've got a bit of an audience behind us, and now right here this is Daga Kebab. What Daga means? When he told me they do Daga Kebab here, I'm like, what? What do you mean Daga Kebab? Daga is a thread, like daga sui, like needle and thread in Hindi. And so they don't use any binding agents, so it's quite special. This kebab, they don't put any like maize, no chickpeas, no egg in it to bind it all together, so it doesn't stay rolled like a kebab. They actually use a thread 
to keep the meat intact while they cook it or else it's going to fall apart and then they serve it to you like this you can have it with naan but i've already had so many naans today they don't want it and you have a very kind of chunky green chutney and of course condiments as well but let's see how this tastes i hear it's very very juicy mm, wow it's soft and creamy at the same time and yeah but you can see there's a ton of spices in there. It's really, 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 really good. Mm. It's really good with a bit of lemon. And a ton of onion as well. Oh my god. This really is something special here in Karachi. Let's try this green chutney. Oh wow. Tastes more like spinach or some green leafy vegetable. It's good. It's really good. Everything's just so fresh here. The chutney is super fresh. The beef is super fresh. That's because the next street across is the butchery. There is a street just as long as this street is, and they're just they're just butchers, and they're busy killing the animals and serving them to the restaurants, obviously. And the store owner here did try to give me the food for free, but. I said, no, no, please, like, face a legia, like, please take my money. Because, you know, I don't think it's fair that chai wallers and, you know, store owners are giving foreigners stuff for free. It's really nice in terms of hospitality, but it's not really needed because <clears throat> how can I take money from, like, a chai waller or someone selling kebabs, right? I can't. Why should I? I finished the full plate. That was beautiful. Try Daga Kebab. Just, it's so yum. And I'm just hanging out here with my bro. What's your name, brother? Apka Salman Mosi. Salman Mosi. Salman Mosi. And Apka Haa se hai? Karachi. From Karachi se. Yeah. And you like this kebab wala? Yeah. Mujhe ye wala bohut basand hai na? I am also. And tell me, what is Dahi Bare? I'm going there next. <laughs> Dahi Bare, I can hai? explain. This is a uh, desi da sukhi. Okay. Uh, okay. Chalo, we are gonna go and try Dahi okay. Bare now. I found another restaurant and it's got deli in the name, so let's go and eat there. It's just a couple of shops up from the kebab wala. But it's gonna deli ke mashur Pakistani dil bahar Dahi Bare. So let's find out what Dahi Bare is, okay? And I forgot to say, while he's making a Dahi Bare, a uh, guy at the last restaurant, he offered to pay for my kebab. The guy, literally the guy just sitting right next to me said, I'll pay for it, don't worry, but I'd already paid. The guy had given me a discount though, like I gave him the full amount, he gave me like half back or something. So yeah, he didn't want to take any money, but I just said, please take some money because you know, this is not, this is not free for you. You know what I mean? You have to make money, especially during Corona. It's very difficult for everybody. All right, I've got the famous Dahi Bare here. And I don't, I got no idea what it is really, honestly. They give you these kind of crisps, and what I do with this, I'm not exactly sure. Can you say, Like that. Yeah. It's me? Yeah. Okay. You can dip it and then put it Okay, Okay, you can use it as a spoon to dip, or you can just crush it up and put it inside. The guy behind me was helping me. All right, we've got some spices here. It looks like some kind of masala. I don't know what. Let's put that on, and the next one. Whoa! The whole, <laughs> the whole thing broke off. Cello, do what we can there. Oh, I made the biggest mess. I may get in so much trouble, I just tipped the whole thing in there. Cello, we'll eat around it. I'm so bad. All right, let's go. All right, so I worked out what this is. Dahi bare is basically dahi bala. These kind of, I don't know what they're made of. Whether it's made of flour or bread. It's these like balls of floury kind of bread. And then put into yogurt and covered in some, some spices basically. And then these little crispy kind of, these little crispy chips that you can scoop in and eat it with or crush into it for some texture. And it's, it's okay. It's nothing special. I mean, in India they put uh, hari chutney and 
tamarind chutney on it too, but here they didn't do that. They just give you these these um, these spice mixtures to put on it, which I thought was a bit weird. So yeah, this is really famous here, but yeah, didn't enjoy it at all actually. Just just average. I only ate a little bit after I completely destroyed the plate. Yeah, dahi bare. I said I broke this. I broke it. <laughs> See more women coming up to me and asking me how I am and what I'm doing. There's not much issue. As long as you're not sticking the camera in people's faces. This guy won't take the money. He won't take the money at all. I tried to give him something. Meredesh, New Zealand, hey. And uh, now he's trying to give me lassi and to give me drinks as well. But I'm gonna go have another tea. Shukriya ji. Bye. Very nice guy. I'm back for my second tea. I drink a lot of tea. Love tea. And uh, I can't eat anymore. My stomach is so full and I've gained so much weight in the last two months because I've been traveling so much. And I know I have not even scratched the surface of the amount of food here in Karachi. I didn't even get the I didn't even get biryani. I should have taken biryani, but I'm uh, I'm full. The food scene here in Karachi is just it's out of this world. Can easily say that. So, yeah, really, really enjoyed my time here on Burns Road. And if you're wondering what chaiwalas eat, well, they eat alu ghost. So basically, mutton and potatoes, and they're all sitting around and they share from the same plate. That's how people eat in India and Pakistan. And they've offered me to come and eat with them, but you guys have seen how much I've eaten already on this trip, right? <laughs> 